Yo, what's up guys, KS Kiral here. Linux kernel 5R16 has been released, which has packed with some of the major under the hood changes. Now, it brings in new hardware support, improved a gaming performance via Wine and Proton, improved system health, Apple M1 support, and more. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the new features and improvements of kernel 5R16. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest kernel on your Linux machine. So let's get started. Now one of the vital factors of Linux growth is the gaming. Now this is the main concern of all Linux users to be able to play their favorite Windows games on Linux natively. Now according to some sources, Kernel 5R16 introduces a new kernel system called a few text to. Now this new feature could improve the Linux gaming experience natively, but most importantly, Windows games running via Wine, the Proton, will get an improved performance boost by a good margin. Now, this new kernel system indeed helps to reduce a CPU utilization and increase a frame rate for many games. Now, I haven't played any games so far via Steam. Now, I will try my best to play games and compare them with the old kernel and let you guys on the community page of this channel. The Fenotify API provides a notification and interception of file system events. Now, use cases include a virus scanning and hierarchical storage management. Now, in layman's terms, this is going to improve the system health. Now, as of now, this API only supports the XD4 file system. With every Linux kernel that comes out after the release of Apple M1 Silicon, we have seen a significant features being added to the kernel to support the same. The Linux kernel 5R16 adds a support for USB, PCIe, and other minor fixes, and now supports the Apple Magic Keyboard, which is huge. Now, other features of this kernel include a huge performance boost for both Intel and AMD CPU and GPUs. Also, the performance of the single board computer based on ARM architecture has been improved. It's time to show you guys how to install this new kernel on your Linux computer. Now keep in mind, do not try to install it on your main computer. New kernel can only be installed to solve the problems you have. Now let's say there is an issue with your sound card or Wi-Fi adapter or the GPU. Now if this kernel fixes the issue of such kind to make it work as intended, then you must install it. Now otherwise, stay away from this. Now, most of the Linux distributions prefer stability and that's why they don't release the new kernel update without testing them rigorously. But for those who are running Ubuntu, it's very easy to install the latest kernel and take an advantage of its new features and improvements. Now, Ubuntu has a feature called Hardware Stack Enablement. Now, this indeed is going to help install a multiple kernels running on the same system. Now, as of now, the LTS release of Ubuntu with kernel 5R16 runs without any issues. Alright, as you can see, I'm running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and you can see the kernel version of my system, which is 5.11. Now, we're going to change it to the new kernel in a moment. But before installing any new kernel on your Linux system, it's always recommended to take a backup of your important files. Also, go ahead, install a time shift and take a snapshot of the entire root system just to be on a safer side. Now, if something goes wrong with the new kernel, we can always go back to the old kernel. Once it's done, head over to this website and download three files. To install any new kernel on any Ubuntu-based distribution, you need a kernel headers, the main image file, and kernel modules. Now pick the latest ones and download them on your computer.
Now cd into that downloaded directory. Since all these downloaded files have a dev extension, I'm going to run this command to install all these files. Make sure you won't see any errors on the completion of the installation. Now, once it's done, it's time to boot the Ubuntu with the new kernel. Now, go ahead, reboot the computer. Now, from the grub menu, by default, if you don't do anything, Ubuntu will boot with the new kernel 5R16. But if you choose an advanced boot options, here you can find both kernels, the 5R16 and 5.11. If the new kernel fails to load Ubuntu, you can always switch to the previous one to boot the operating system. And that's it. Now you can see the system booted with the new kernel without any issues. Now if in case this kernel is not working well, you can restore the entire system with a time shift that is going to take you back where you left off your system before installing this new kernel. And that's pretty much it about the kernel 5.16 features and installation. And if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to receive the post notifications of my latest videos. Thanks for watching this video. This is Vin KSK Rayo signing off.